Hi everybody and welcome. Welcome to our Saturday afternoon live. Doesn't seem five minutes since Sunday, does it? Last Sunday. However, it's a week they tell me has gone by, so <laughs> I believe them. And we're still on our roller prompts, which I'm thoroughly enjoying because it's making me really think. And I hope that you're enjoying too. Some of you have been good enough to make them and to share them on the group which is marvellous, and the group to which I refer is our Facebook group, which is called Junk Journals and Mini Albums. I've never got the hang of that since I changed it. I don't know why I changed it. It's called, on Facebook, it's called Junk Journals and Mini Albums. And if you go there, there's three questions that you have to answer, otherwise we won't let you on. Um, and then, you know, you're in, it's free it's fun and people are sharing our roller prompts which is great i'm loving it um right so my roller prompts for today are an altered paper clip green napkins photo fabric and edith and actually this has caused me quite a bit of head scratching i must be honest yesterday's was like a dream <laughs> It was really easy. Uh, and the other altar paper clip I did was easy too. But this one with napkins, photo, fabric, and Edith, it just, um, yeah, I've had to think about this one. So anyway, I hope you're all well and happy and behaving yourselves. And um, I'll say hello to Mike at this moment because I know that he's not actually physically with us, but I'm sure he's spiritually with us or whatever the phrase is. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking about us that's what I mean right so let's get cracking should we do um should we do a roll call now and then if people are late well they're late they have to go on the naughty step what do you think it'd be a good idea for a actually compiled one but oh yeah. I'll leave it for a minute then right Just so so the altered paper clip so the first thing that you need <laughs> Well, before I do that, let me just tell you, my inks arrived, my eyes ink inks, and I've tried them out. I've made some inky backgrounds, and these are they. Um, and I think they turned out really rather well, actually. I quite like them. And you can see I've been nibbling at them, but, you know, they're, they're, they're nice. They're what I was after, so that one's particularly pretty with the pinks and purples. Um, but there we are. So, yes, I'm pleased with those and they're not so expensive. Excellent. <coughs> the other thing I want to tell you about is my art glitter glue has arrived, finally. It's taken approximately 100 years to get here, um, but it's finally arrived. So um, I've only tried it out yesterday um, with the roller prompt. I haven't tried it at all in, with anything else. But I know that everybody has a problem getting hold of stainless steel pins and, you know, they lose the stainless steel pin and then they put something in that isn't stainless steel and it makes your glue go rusty coloured and it's quite nasty. So at the same time as I ordered my art glitter glue, I ordered a, pin, a stainless steel pin with a nice stopper on it. And when it arrived, oh my life, look at this. I mean, I, I've been into it. It was prettier than this when it arrived. Um, Kay, the lady that owns the shop, the paper shed here in the UK, she'd made a lovely job of tying the bow and, you know, just presenting it beautifully. So, um, nice bit of ribbon there. And look, it's just so pretty, isn't it? So, you know, if you're after one of these, remember it's Kay and she her shop is called The Paper Shed on Etsy. And look at mine, it's gorgeous. There we are, I love it. That's not going to get lost on the desk, is it? Well, hopefully not. Um, she does do bigger ones, you know, with beads coming off it and everything, but I thought that they would just be a bit unwieldy for me, so... I, I ordered this one um, with a beautiful little um, mauve seed beads and I'm really pleased with it. It's lovely. So I'm going to oust this one that came with the glue and pop this one in for the first time. And there we go. Look at that. It's so lovely. 
honestly little things eh so if you are interested in one of those or as i say the ones with the beads on she does both uh the lady's name is Kay, and her shop is the paper shed and they're not you know they're not expensive for what they are i mean look at all the work in that so there you go i can do no more i think i'll put my other stainless steel pin in there in the packaging the, the fancy one came in and then i won't lose that <laughs> if i do lose the big purple one which i'm hoping i won't right so that's key right roll call then roll call well welcome to Kay fisher who's joining us for the first time oh ah, okay <laughs> <laughs> the lovely Kay from the, the paper shed who i was just uh just telling you about and we have Roz. This is Brendan Trudequist Act where you drink a glass of water and speak, is it? I'm really you've sorry. Got, you've got your dummy. Oh no, that's me. I'm really <laughs> sorry, I'm <was> thirsty. <laughs> so, Roz. Hi, Roz. Hi, Jim. Kiyong. Hello, Kiyong. I hope your finger's getting better. Jen. Hiya, Jen. Janya. Hi, Janya. Hi, Hi, Kerry. Hi, Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Deborah. Hi Deborah, wait wait a minute. Hi Deborah, gorgeous, gorgeous great grandbabies, may I say? And going back to Leslie, you made a beautiful job with those um, transparencies, Leslie. Really nice. It kind of makes me even like the thought of Christmas. Okay, sorry. Benice. Hi, Benice. Benice, thank you so much for your support on my YouTube videos. You never miss me leaving me a comment, and I do appreciate it. Judy. Judy? Judy Hoff? Yep. Ah, hello, Judy. Jan. Hello, Jan. Hope you had a nice bath. Tamira. Hello, Tamira. Yvonne Logar. Hello, Yvonne. Jean. Hello, Jean. Violet. Hello, Jean. It's so good to have you at Roll Call. Hello, Violet. Once again, thank you for all the lovely comments you leave me and the support that you give the group. It's greatly appreciated. Zanet. Hi, Zanet. And Lena. Hello, Lena from Denmark. Uh, Connie. Hello, Connie. If I've missed you, you're like, oh no, Irene. Hello, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly missed you off there, didn't Joe I? Ray. Hello, Joe Ray. Noella. Hello, Noella. I think that's everybody. If I've forgotten you, shout out. Well, I just want to say hi to one and all. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. And really, you know, some of those names that are coming up, uh, people that have supported financially this channel. And for that, I am, we both are very, very grateful. So thanks for joining us, Kay. Uh, from the paper shed, I look forward to using your noble, your purple noble. Sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? <coughs> anyway, let's get cracking with this. Right, so the first thing I need Terry. is... Terry! Terry! Carol! Hiya, Carol! Hiya, Terry! You could have been on the naughty stuff. Right, the first thing we need if you're going to alter it is a paper clip. So I have decided... <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah, I've decided go big or go home, basically. I thought I'd laid one out, but obviously I haven't. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Um, I want to use a green one, and this looks like my last green one. You don't have to use these stupidly large, giant paper clips. Just I absolutely love them. And it was Flo, I think, that sent me my first one. In fact, I think it's still in there. Yeah, it is. It's a light pink one that she sent me. And it just caused me so much fun for so long. I had it on my desk for ages, and every time I looked at it, it just made me happy. Um, so I thought I'd buy myself some. But they aren't as special as the one Flo sent me. Right, green paper clip. <laughs> okay, so, right. What you need is a bit of... Oh, I told you I had one out already. I thought I was going bonkers. Not that mad. Right, so I'm going to put that away because it'll just kick around my desk and... You know, you know. Right, so what you do is you get a bit of card. This is a large piece of card. I'll tell you how much this measures because it's larger than your average altered paper clip. It's four by seven. That's quite substantial. Um, 
You don't have to do it this size. You can do it any size you like at all. And I generally put my paper clip on the top. You could put it on the sides. You could even put it on the bottom, wherever. But I generally put mine at the top. And I generally put the longer of the legs at the back. But, I mean, again, that's not... You don't have to have to do that. Um, and if you're going to put fabric ribbon or anything like that in it, <coughs> excuse me, now is a good time to start. To start. Now's a good time to do it. And it'd be good if I started soon, wouldn't it? Um, so actually, I'm just going to use... That's your normal size. Oh, yeah. That's your normal size paper clip there. Look. I mean, look how ridiculously large that is. It's just stupidly large. But I love it. We all do, don't we? We all love silly large things or silly little things. Um, right. Yes, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to actually put a little bit. I've got this green fabric. Um, and I just want to snip a little bit off it. Here's the salvage here. <coughs> Sorry, guys, excuse me. Oh, this looks like it might have been started before, so I'll use that. So I just want a little bit. I just want to tie it to the top. Nothing major. Ah, I've got my iPad here now, so I can see you. Now I can't see my scissors, so I might have to move them to this side. Susan says hi. Susan Hall. Pruitt. Pruitt. Hi, Susan. Thank <coughs> <coughs> Thanks for joining us. My goodness, what's wrong with me? So I'm just going to, I've got a rough edge on this side, but I know it's straight because I've torn it before. And I'm just going to snip a little bit in there and see if I can tear it. Yeah, that's lovely. That's enough, I think. Right, so I think, I'm not using this as my fabric component. Don't worry. Although I quite like to, but I'm not. Right, so I'm finished with that. So let's put that in the drawer. Yeah, there's something wrong with me. I'm putting things away. I don't know quite what's wrong with me. Erin says hi. Oh, hello, Erin. Thanks for joining us. Right, so you'll, you'll always get strings down the side that you can pull off. Um, you know, just do that just pull them off and I'm just going to thread this through the top of here so as when it's in our journals you'll see this poking out the top of your journal and I quite like that I quite like bits poking out and to the side and all over the place but you don't have to do this so just do that and pull them up so as when it's in your book you'll see those at the top and then you can push that as far down as you can Right. Can you hear the thinking? Uh, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is get a piece of... This is just our ordinary A4 letter size or whatever will do. Um, and I'm going to... In fact, any size. I mean, if you want to make it little, sort of 4 by 4 5 by 5 anything like that will do. And I'm just going to fold it. I just realised those measurements I gave you were all square. They can be any size. So I'm just folding it down here and I'll crease that in. Like that. And then I'm going to fold it the other way. Have you all got your books and are you prepared for Mr Green? Because it's the 7th of August today. Mr. Green will be coming to play quite soon. And I hope I haven't used up all my good ideas and the roller prompts. There we go. Right, so we've got this and it's cut into four like that. So now we're going to cut from the edge up to the centre. And on, on mine, it's on one of the longer edges. So I'm just going to do that cut along that fold line. Virginia says she's super excited for Mr Green. Oh. And four clapping hands. Oh my goodness. I was just saying, I think it was to Jen, yeah. 
I bet Mr Green could never have imagined that he was going to have all these ladies mad after him. <laughs> That's quite funny, isn't it, really? I'm just going to um, cut. I mean, it's about a mil. I'm trying my hardest to cut it, actually. Just about a mil. Ooh. It's not e It's not easy. I've got the shakes because I've been drinking too much coffee. And eating flapjack actually. Oh dear me, don't make such a meal out of this as I am, it's not difficult. Kieran is going to use a golf book. Alright. Instead. Because it's the right dimension. That's fine. Whatever. But it leads to Mr Green. Um, I think it's Jen that was saying that she's got a, uh, she managed to get a cover and a back cover, um, in you know fairly solid, and she's going to use um. Like, I think she meant like a ring binder, uh, for all the pages, so they can grow as fat as they want to, because her covers will just move wherever, which is a really good idea, and. You know, if you can't get Mr. Green, or even if you can, that's a really good idea. Right, so we've got our page. We've cut that, so we've got a tiny little gap along along there. I mean, it's tiny. And then we're going to fold this over there, this up to here, and then this over here. And I need to cut a little bit off that as well because it's not quite pretty. It's just where the crease is, um, and I don't like it when you can see it. So that's it. That wasn't as painful as the first one. So, yeah. So, right, let's go through this again so everybody's got it. There's our piece of paper. It's folded across and across, okay? Then get it so as one side, any side, whichever side, is on your left. And then cut into the centre line, centre crease there. And you might want to cut, you know, just a little wedge out there. Uh, and I'm talking tiny. I bet that whole thing, I bet it's not two mils. Um, but just so as they fold over and don't impede each other. So then the bottom one folds over that one, folds up to there, and this folds over there. What's that got to do with an altered paper clip, you might ask? Keep watching. Is all I can say. Um, right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decoupage on on here. I need to get my glass board out. Just when I had everything organised as well. Do you notice I've changed my paper? This is Laura Ashley paper. We've gone up market. It's gone upside down as well. There we are, that should do that. Uh, right, here we are. So this is the bit that I want to decoupage. So I'm going to fold that shut like that. And I hope that these brushes that I've got today are are um, decent and don't break my, don't tear my tissue. So I decided to use this one because it's quite, um, it's just pretty, isn't it? But it's green, more to the point. So I'm just going to cut that off a little bit larger than I need. Not much larger, but a little bit larger. Along that crease, I think, is probably near enough. You know, when I did that other altered paper clip the other day, you know, for the roller prompt, I was thinking, why do I not include these in journals more often? You know, they they look really nice. They're easy peasy to make. So yeah, that's going to go on there like that. I haven't left myself much of a margin, but I don't need to. Um, and then just take the back two layers off, which leaves us with this. Okay, you know, I was watching somebody the other day and they decoupaged with um, 
glue stick. And I know some of you have been saying that for a long time. Why don't you use glue stick? Do you think today is a good day to use glue stick? Shall I try it? What have I got to lose? A piece of paper. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to the beginning. Where is my glue stick? I've lost the glue stick. Here it is. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to give it a try. So I think you have to make sure you get absolutely every bit glued. And I'm using Elmer's, so it's quite a strong Elmer's. Excuse me, Elmer's Extreme. Not even just your common garden Elmer's. Right, let's give this a go. Oh, I'm not convinced that's okay. So I, th I think I think you just kind of drop it on. Oh, I'm a bit concerned about this. Oh, no reason to be concerned. That's lovely. Wow. Who knew? Well, loads of you knew because you've been trying to tell me for ages. <laughs> I just didn't have my ears turned on. That's lovely and I don't need leave it to dry or anything. And you brush, you're redundant. Thank you. Goodbye. Right, so I can cut all this excess off. Kind of wish I wasn't shaking so much. <laughs> but what can you do, eh? Do you want a coffee? Of course I want a coffee, you know. You never say no, do you? Do you want a coffee? No. <laughs> I've got quite sufficient <laughs> caffeine in my body at the minute. But I might, you know, in a little while, don't hold that thought. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, it's not tearing or anything. It's cutting away quite nicely. Lorna's joined us. Good morning, Lorna. She's been getting her laser ready. Oh, that stamp. Um, the the. Oh, the last one with the insects on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've got managed to get some glue on the back there. Let's see if I can roll it off. Not quite. Let's make glue rubber. This is getting a bit grubby on the corners. Oh, <laughs> Mr. F. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. F. That's fine. Right, there we are. I think that's okay. Quite like the look of it, looks nice. So, what shall we do now? Right, well, ooh, what's that? What's going on? Oh, it's just I haven't cut it, that's all. Nothing to concern ourselves with, it's perfectly fine. Right, so what I thought I would do now is put a pocket on it. Um, and I think I'll just use this same paper. You can see I was attempting to work out quite what to do. Uh, and I don't need the glass board, so I'm going to put it away. Jen says, an insect stamp, I missed it. Can you show it to me? Did you have an insect stamp? Uh, no, it's Lorna's new stamp. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, keep up, Jen. No, Lorna's new stamp. It's, it's gorgeous. It's totally gorgeous. Um, right, so, yeah, I'll get my cutting board out. I'm a bit dithery today, aren't I? Never mind, stick with me. It'll all be all right on the night. Okay. Right, so this is just the same paper, except I've folded it to see if I could do something. Um, but what I want is, did I say that was four inches? Yeah, now... Now everything's happened, it's four and an eighth. Jen says she's a day late and a stamp short. <laughs> but she's lovely, isn't she? She might be all of those things. 
But we love her anyway. We do. I'm just going to make that slightly, slightly, slightly there. Right. Because I had a tidy up, we all know what that means, don't we? It means all the things that we actually want are no longer accessible. Like this. Right, so let's just check that hasn't moved. It hasn't moved. Okay. So, oh, now I've got everything everywhere. That's so annoying. <laughs> Timmy towels, you name it. Right, you can go away from, no, put you there. Right, this is now the same, or should be, the same width as that. Yay, hooray. Now I want to put two pockets on this and I want one to be about that far up, which is, let me tell you, three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut that off at three. No, I don't need to do that. No, I'm going to put the bottom one on first. That's a better plan altogether. And the bottom one is going to be about there which is an inch and a half excellent let's cut an inch and a half off and let's get this one stuck on I nearly swore there for some reason I don't know why I nearly said B do 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 R <laughs> but I didn't Right, it's just dawned on me these are going to be pretty naked. They're going to be naked. Mmm, naked's not good, is it? We don't want naked. Uh, let's get some stamps out <laughs> quick. What's the solution to nakedness? Stamps. Yeah, there's my lovely stamp that I got from Lorna, which, as you can see by the state of it, is heavily used. I love it. Very shabby. Um, yeah, I'm going to get, um, well, for a change, I'll get the field notes ones out. Or I could just, yeah, had a better idea. Let's get the, um, that's the text one, the illegible text. Oh, that's frames. They might be, oh, come on, just make a decision. Oh, there's my butterflies. I couldn't find them. I had butterflies to put away and I couldn't find them. There we go. Uh, what else have I got? A pair of glasses. Well, that's what you always need in your stuff of drawers. <laughs> it? we're all born naked. Well, that is true. Jean said naked is absolutely no longer good around my house. <laughs> And Jan, you said it depends on who we're talking about. What did I say naked anyway? I can't even remember saying naked. You said that was naked. And the answer to naked is stamp. Oh, the yeah. Stamp. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> you know my memory. It's rubbish. It's to totally rubbish. I think it's because... Oh, there's my little flowers. That's what I'm after. I think it's because we think about too many things all at once. And it's just like a mad crash in your head. That's what I think. And Jean says, and who are we talking about? <laughs> I aren't even talking about anybody. Now I've lost me bit of blooming cardboard. <laughs> oh, come on. This is descending into complete and utter mayhem. Right, I'm just going to cut another bit off that's an inch and a half because I haven't got a blind clue where that other one went. It could be somewhere. Could not be. Ah, Mr. F's found it. Good lad. Thank you. Right. So I'm just going to stamp very lightly some anonymous text. Come on. Heavens. It's like dealing with a child. Right. So actually, I might as well cut the other one as well, hadn't I? And... Uh, we can stamp them both together. So that was going to be three and a half, wasn't it? So let's cut that off at three and a half. Judy says in the south we say naked. 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 I think I say naked. Naked. 
Yeah. Naked as a jaybird. Yeah, I've heard them on the telly. <laughs> well, it must be true. It then. must be right, mustn't it? If it's been on the telly. That's what I was thinking. It must be right. Right, so what's going to happen is this pocket is going to go over that pocket like that. But if I put a little mark, it's a good job you guys don't tune in to me for anything like a tutorial because this is total and utter pants today. Pants, I said. That's when you're not naked, you've got pants on. So I'm going to put a little mark there and a little mark there. And then I don't need to take this all the way down to the bottom. It just needs to tuck in, that's all. So let's cut a bit off. I'm sure, quite sure you could have done this in a much easier and elegant manner, but I didn't. Judy says the difference between naked and naked is that naked means unclothed and naked means unclothed and up to no good. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll fancy that. <laughs> <laughs> right so I'm going to cut that off I'm allowing half an inch from where I made the little marks I'm going to chop that off there so this is actually waste but I'm going to hang on to it because I might have a, a bit of a plan for it and I'm going to take my scissors and just taper in underneath that mark up to that mark so as we can get it in the the other pocket not by much like that can you see that so it's not much but it should enable us to get it inside the other pocket okay so let's just rub those marks out okay right so there's our two pockets there's our thingy that we decoupaged. Much taken with that, I can tell you. It's uh, looking good. And I'm going to... Uh, shall I use one of my new inks? Let's use one of my new inks. Um, I think this one. They've, they're all named in French, so it's a bit of a bit of a gamble guessing what they are. Well, read them out and I'll tell you what they mean. Okay, the first one is... Aurora, 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 Dawn. No, is it? it means have you dawn. have you checked it up on this? No. You have. No. Yes, you have. No. Hmm. I've got fed up with you mocking my education, so I thought I would. Ah, <laughs> you thought you'd look it up. <laughs> I thought I'd look it up. <laughs> right. Um, framboise, which I think strawberry. is strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> Cerise, which I think is cherry. Yes. Um, Nui, which I think is night. It is. Mer du Sud, which I think is the Southern Ocean. The South Sea. Was I right? Yes. Uh, the next one is Ocean, which I think is the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yes. The next one is Emerald, which I'm guessing is Emerald. Colour guys. Uh, this one is Vervienne, which I think is... The springtime? Nope. Vervian. Youth. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's part of the Latin name for verbena. And I know uh -huh. verbena is purple, but I'm thinking they're talking about the foliage. Yeah, maybe. But it's French for verbena. Well, I've never got that enough fit. And this, which is reglisse, which is regal, royal? No. Nope. No? What then? Licorice. Licorice? I did not know that. Right, okay, so after our <laughs> impromptu French lesson, <laughs> where I bet everybody's just gone, oh, this is not for me. <laughs> I came prepared. Yeah, you did good. So I'm using this uh, Vervienne, which as we now know is Verbena. Uh, I haven't actually been into it before, so I'm going to have to open it. Auspicious day, isn't it, when you open new inks? Has everybody left? No. No. <laughs> oh, they must be as mad as we are. Right. Ooh, look at that. Um, 
I've no idea how juicy or otherwise, but if it turns out a complete nut a disaster, I'll turn them over and use the other side. <laughs> Which was a bit that wet, a bit. Oh, quite nice. I think we're in more of lemon verbena territory, actually. I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see that on the screen? It's faint, but it's very nice. Right, I'll just give that a bit of a once over with a Timmy tail. Now, then, what I'm thinking is. That's still going to look a bit naked. So I've got two choices. I can either stamp on these gorgeous little flowers, little flower stamps, or I could stamp onto, stamp one of the field notes stamps onto a bit of card, a bit of papery card, and put that on. Mm. I don't want it that big anyway. I want it a little, little less big than that, as in smaller. Right, so let's just, let's cut that at three quarters. I think that would be good. Okay, and I want another piece at three quarters. Do I? No, I don't think I do. One stamp, I think, will do us. Um, so what? Oh, I found a perfect one. <laughs> Condemned. No. Be sensible. What about that? Identification check. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that. So, um, I kind of, if I can find a stamp thing... I've got this one with a handle on. Don't know anything about it, but I'm sure it'll work. I'll just ink that up. Should I ink it in the same colour? Mm. Or the darker green? That's very light, that. Or I could do it in brown, actually. Yeah, I might do it in um, vintage photo after all that. Fuss about my new inks. I'm back to vintage photo. To be honest, I'm not, because you don't get really good stamps with, with that. So this is what I'll use. I'll use my Versifying Claire in Rainforest. And this, I don't believe, has been used before. So let's just give it a try. Oh, it looks good and juicy. Right, so I'll see if we can get this midways up. I'll put it in the middle, because I don't... I think that is a full width. I'm talking complete rubbish today. You could, you should watch this with the sound off. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Can you distress with Versifying Claire? I can't see why you can't. Let's pop that back in its bag. stamping mad of late I really I'm enjoying my stamping right so that's going to go on to there but we want to cut it off at either end I'm going to do this I've been caught out before doing this without using my thing and it, it doesn't come out well so I'm going to cut it using this you think you'd manage to be able to cut three quarters of an inch straight but I'm not Right, now I know it is straight. I was going to say, what was it? Lavender fairy doing there, but I had her right yesterday, didn't I? Right, so that's going to go on to there, like that. Yeah, quite like that. But it needs ink around it. And what colour ink does it need? That... That, to my friends, is the question. I, I think I'm going to use Vintage Photo, and I'm looking for my doodle, which is here. 
I started off with my desk so nice and tidy and it's descended into <laughs> rubbish everywhere. Right, and I'm going to ink around these as well. There'll be a few on the naughty step, they haven't moved over on naked yet. Really? <laughs> we found a level. We found a level. Found Jean's level. <laughs> I know this is why we miss Jean so much, isn't it? Because yeah. she's just naughty. Step or no step, Jean is just naughty. I bet she was a a right girl when she was a younger person. She's probably still a right girl now. Right, so I've inked around that, I've inked around that. That's going to go there, that's going to go there, that's going to go there. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? Just say yeah. It'll shut me up and I'll move on faster. At the moment, I'm keeping my inks nicely in their set because I love them. Uh, right, so let's get this stuck down onto here. That's the thing. Oh, our glitter glue time. Ooh. Jean says, oh mercy, I was a bit of a problem for sure. <laughs> well, you're no longer a problem to us because we love you. Can always depend on Jean. Right, I'm going to put my posh knob in. Ooh, look at that. Says, Thank you. <laughs> right, so I kind of want this in the middle. If I can get it in the middle would be good. Erin's so going to know if you love in the art glitter glue. This is the second time only that I've used it. I used it uh, yesterday on the grey the grey something that, that I did what did I do yesterday Character, journaling card journaling yeah um, and you know the jury was out because it was the first time I'd used it and this is the second time I must say I like it it's slightly runnier than I thought it was going to be um, but maybe that's just because I'm at the top of the bottle I don't know right let's bring in this so this is the one that wants to get stuck down first right at the bottom along the bottom like that so I only want to stick three sides. Yeah, I do like it. I mean, it's the delivery system is excellent. It's really fine. I just hope it doesn't get clogged up too often because that would really annoy me. But then all glues do and they all annoy me. But I did have Cosmic Shimmer Glue for a while and I really, really liked it. But I didn't have a stainless steel pin, so I kept putting the wrong pin in and it kept going ever more rusty. Just got a little, long scissors, a little bit of um, napkin along the bottom there. Suzanne Shears says she doesn't even show her upper arms, never mind a naked body. <laughs> <laughs> We want that to fit into there, but I might have to trim just a little bit more off it. Yeah, just because the glue spread out, so just trim a little bit more off there. And off this side. Just to get it to fit into there. Like that. Not like that. Go on, go in, what's wrong with you? Yeah, that's it. So is that level? Yeah, that looks level. So now I've got to take it out, glue it, and then put it back in again. So it's just two sides of this that you want to glue. Just the side sections. Pop my purple knob in. I wonder when I'll get tired of saying that. Jean 
Judy says art glitter is the Goldilocks of glue is the environment is going to be just right. Oh, right. So it's too uh, humid or too hot or... Oh, uh, okay. I'm with you. Mind you, I do think Kalal is a bit like that as well. It can be a bit umpty when it wants to be. Right, there we go. Right, so that's that. Now, I haven't put anything on here. Obviously, I've put the decoration onto there because there's something going to go in there. And the something that's going to go in there is... Da -da -la! The Edwardian Lady Playing Cards. There we have them, ladies. Look at them. How nice are they? <laughs> so, Laura, if you're on, I know you've got a set, but I'm not sure who else has got a set. They are gorgeous. There's two packs, so there's two designs. Uh, and I'm going to pop one of these in, a card, any card. in the bottom and one of the other ones up there like that. So there we are. You could put other things in there as well uh, if you wanted to, but don't forget it's an altered paper clip. <laughs> it's all it is, uh, just an altered paper clip. So, ah, yes, this, where's my list? Altered paper clip, green, napkins, photo, do, 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 fabric, haven't used either. Edith, we've just used. Right, the photo that I'm using. If I can get into here. Oh no. Oh no. Don't panic. We're all right. It's just the glue stick stuck that bit down, but we're all right. Right, so they're in there. So that opens up, as you know, this opens that way and that opens that way. So there's a good bit of journaling going on, good bit. But I've got to use a photo. So what I've done is, the other day when we were out, I was looking for, I'm always looking for things to paint. And we found, actually there's a funny story about this. Uh, we're taking Bobby for a little walk. We went for a really nice scenic drive, which we often do after lives. Uh, and we'd come to this really pretty place. So we stopped, took Bobby out for a little walk, um, got back to the car. Bobby jumped into the car and Mr. F called me over and he said, Oh, look, what are these? Are they orchids? So I went, went to look and I mean, the violas, but they were absolutely beautiful. And they were so bright and jewel-like against the, the grass where they were growing. So we oohed and aahed and took photographs, whatever, then got back into the car and lo and behold, Bobby had eaten the entire picnic. <laughs> He's just eaten it. I mean, all the bags and everything were there. I don't know how he got into them really, but he'd eaten everything. And he was sitting in the back seat where he normally sits, just, you know, looking around, I haven't done anything, don't look at me. Uh, so that was our picnic gone for that day. But anyway, I have a nice memory of this beautiful, um, so I'm, because I have to use a, a photograph, but it's a nice place to use it anyway. Uh, I'm going to use that one. I, I printed out two sizes because I couldn't be sure which size I would need. I couldn't visualize it in my head. Oh, they're still on naked. No. No, they're moved on. We've moved on to Bobby. Oh, to Bobby. Bobby the thief. The sausage thief. Yes. Which, of course, could relate back to naked, but we won't go there. Don't go there. But you might want to know also, or you might not, that Little and the Kitten, who still doesn't have a name, um, is doing really well. Really, really well. He's eating well. Um, he's got loads of energy, he's curious about things and uh, yeah, I mean we're delighted with how he's progressing. It's only a week ago today since since we found him. So he's, he's done well. We have bought him however a play pen, which is rather large, barely fits in our room. 
Um, but we had to contain him somehow because every time we let him on the floor, he just went under the bookcase. Um, so Jean says, have we seen the kitten? Um, we have and he's asleep. So let sleeping kitties lie, I say. If he wakens up before the end, I'll show you. Because I'm sure he's grown since last week. I'll so, let him out of jail. Yeah. So I'm going to stick that there. Uh, that's not how that folds. It folds like that. Yeah, that's right. Sharon so yeah. suggests calling him Holden. Holden? As he needed. Oh! Yeah. Well, we could. No. I hear you, but no. Although I quite like it, actually, thinking about it. I think we should call him Frankie, because he's got big old blue eyes. But then, I'm not so I don't know about the name Frankie. Leslie says, Timmy, like your towel. Oh, yeah, Timmy. We could call him Timmy. That's a good suggestion. Right, so that's going down there in that corner with no other embellishment. doesn't need anything more. It's just to decorate this expanse of journaling paper. Sharon says, I hear you, but no. <laughs> yeah. Happy face. <laughs> right, so there we are. So I think I possibly need to ink around this stuff. I'm not going to ink my cards. This is too nice. <laughs> but I am going to ink around everywhere else. So now's the time to go and get yourself a coffee or something else, if you wish. Because I'm just going to be inking. I'm just trimming off the excess napkin here. Jean says she bets half the women on Tim Holtz's pages have cats called Timmy. Oh I'm not doing that then. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped that in my ink. Don't do that. Yeah. I wonder if they realise he's gay. My mum, she never realised anybody was gay. She always thought everybody was just, you know, personable or whatever. Um, and, I, and half the time there were people that she really liked and I didn't want to tell her they were gay because her opinion of them would have changed. And my dad definitely, oh my goodness me. He, he purported, you know, not to have much love for gay people, but... Um, he didn't, he didn't recognise anybody as being gay. <laughs> uh. Different times, yeah? Very different times. Yeah, very different times indeed. I mean, now, you know, it just doesn't matter to us, does it? Whether people are gay, straight, and any number of other things they could be. <laughs> It's going to take me youngs to get round here. There's like a million edges. Oh, I've already done that one. This might end up not completely inked. So if you get this as a rack, feel free to carry on inking it. Okay, uh, let's just fold it up and I'll see if there's anything that is, no, we're, that'll do. That will do the new. Let me just put that away. I'm not playing with matte medium today. I played with glue stick instead. Uh, let's put that away. Right, so where's our card then, our pa paper clip? Here we are, nicely adorned with a bit of green thingamy. cloth fabric right so this is now going to get stuck onto here and it's the card is just quite not the same size as this it probably would look a lot tidier if it was but it's not i found this you know lying around so i'm making use of it so what we want to do now is stick this onto here but not before we do an important part of it I've got a bit of fibre here 
and what I want to do, I think that will be long enough half, yeah, is just find the middle there. So I want to stick this along here like that. And the best thing to stick that down with is double sided. Yeah, once again, it's been sidelined in the grand cleanup that was last night. So, uh, let me just draw a line because you all know how rubbish I am at this sort of thing. So, I'm going to make it. Uh, well, what did I say it measured? Measure seven, so I'm going to make it three and a half inches up. That seems like a... Oh, no, that's not right. That's not right, because this doesn't measure seven, does it? This measures... Um, getting on for six. So I need it th just over three inches down from the top. Yeah, Sharon says, is that like jute string? Do you know what it is? Because I keep meaning to order, like, hemp stuff. Um, and I keep forgetting... So what I've got is this, and it was like that wide, but I just keep peeling a, one of the pieces off it and using it like that. So that's what that is actually. Uh, it's what you guys would call burlap, I think. We just call hessian. So that mark is, oh my life, uh, two, four, five eighths. It's three and five eighths up from the bottom. That's convenient for you, isn't it? So that's that there. That's where I'm going to stick my double sided. And then I'm, that's where I'm going to stick my twiny stuff. There we go. I can see what you're saying today because um, Mr. F's moved the, come on, the iPad, yes, well done, the iPad right up here, I mean it's here, so Jean, I haven't seen him. You just see the corner of it underneath, yeah. Oh yeah, Jean says she hasn't seen him but I don't know who that is. Is that like jute string, answered that, he is a plumber by trade, who are we talking about? Uh, an Australian boxer who wears nail varnish and does ballet. There you go. Um, I wish I lived back. Yeah, I look at people funny when they say, I wished back in the olden days. Ha ha, no. The farther back you go, the worse it is for humanity. Really, if you look at it, we have made such huge strides. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, yeah, Noelle, Noelle agrees with you as well. I like that word hessian. Yeah, hessian. It's a nice word, isn't it? Right, so I'm just going to undo that. Find my centre again, which is there, and just put that across there. And that will be stuck on. So we needn't worry about that. I get the feeling this is going to go horribly wrong, but I don't really know why. Um, right, so now I need to stick this onto here. Like stick it with glue, properly stick. Um, do you think I should use my art glitter glue for this? Is it strong enough? Oh, let's give it a go. One way to find out. So I'm actually going to put glue on the paper clip and all around it, like you would normally do if you didn't have such a stupidly large one, and then. Uh, right up to the edges. Is that right? Is that wider than this? Yeah, right up to the edges. I'll be needing new art glitter glue soon. Yikes, I've got to stop using it. No, I ordered a big bottle as well as this one. So I hope I like it. So it needs to go down to where? To there. So let's just make a line across that. 
fill all this in. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Jean says she thinks it's going well, she could never do what you're doing. Jean, don't be silly, of course you can. See what hash I'm making of things as I go, go on with it. So just kind of straighten that up at the back so you've got equal bits of overhang. Like that. I could have ink drowned this card actually if I'd been thinking a bit better. Right, I'm going to get my Timmy towel and give that a good press down. Judy said we'd pick up a lot of subscribers if we advertised naked party crafting. Do you think so? Would we want them though? Would we want those type? Probably not. I don't think We've got so. enough of them. <laughs> <We've> got... <laughs> There's no vacancies left. <laughs> Oh dear. Deborah said we could all be watching Naked Who Would Know. Well, that's the thing. I was thinking that, actually. Everybody watching could be naked. Right, so that's that. I've got that onto there, like that. I've got my paper clip at the top here. I've got my little Edith cards in. And there's actually nothing stopping this flapping open. Well, apart from the glue. Um, <laughs> nothing stopping it flapping open. So what stops it flap, flapping open is this little bow that I'm about to tie. Who'd have thought this was an altered paper clip? I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. Now, a lady I was watching the other day came out with a really good idea. Well, I say that, I haven't tried it yet, so it might not be. But you know when you're going to tie a bow, and I know I'm left-handed, so I do it the other way around. But, and you put your string through once and then you tie your bow. Well, she says if you do it two times... You don't need somebody to hold the thumb on it. It stays where you put it. So I think that would be great if that works. I mean, I am the world's worst at tying bows, to be fair. There we go. Yeah, that's it. That's quite good. I'm going to cut the long ends off here. You have to leave enough for people to be able to tie it again now. Oh, this one's gone well wonky. Come on. <laughs> that. It's like a spider's hind leg. Come on. Ah, that's better. Right, so you can open that up and then you've got all journaling inside. And you've also got that lovely picture of the little viola. Uh, and it looks nice there, but we haven't fulfilled all our altered paper clip. Check green, yeah. Check napkins, yep. Photo inside fabric, do do do. No, Edith, yeah. We've got the playing cards. I, qu I quite like this actually. I'm liking how this is shaping up. I hope you are too. Uh, so this is going to be my fabric. I have used this not long ago, but I've got a whole. A whole ruffle to go and I believe it's Edith fabric uh, which adds more to the Edith side of the prompts and would you look at that I have not cut that card and I've not cut the paper it's just the perfect size to go there <laughs> I'm delighted I'm so delighted about it right so get the fabric tack out it's not much of this left but it's been left sitting upside down so it should be okay I think Yvonne says she cuts her fingers enough when she's crafting. She can't imagine what she could if she was naked. No thanks, well. Do you know what? The other day I was crafting, you know, as I do like every day. And um, when I went to sit down in the evening, I looked down and there's two holes in my T-shirt. Like slits in my T-shirt. So I said to Mr F, what's this about? It's a new T-shirt. So it's fallen into holes and um, I, I can't work it out. I don't know. I must have caught it with a scissors or something. Um, but it's two like um, vertical slits down like where my tummy is. I don't know what I was playing, doing with my scissors to have it there, I'm sure. Um, but that's another t-shirt I haven't got. 
Well, of course I've still got it. Of course I'll still wear it round the house. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about wearing things round the house. <laughs> I had a pair of, um, I don't know what you call them, the ones that come just below your knee, you know, like joggers, but they just come below your knee. Uh, and they were black and I, I loved them. They were really comfy and I used to wear them all around the house all the time. And, you know, yeah, they had some holes in them, all right. <laughs> but they were really comfy and who was going to see me anyway? You know, if I, if I had to go in the car or anything, I'd change out of these aforementioned joggy things uh, and put something that didn't have holes in or at less. No, it didn't have holes in. And I wore them and I wore them and I wore them until Mr. F finally persuaded me that they were totally shapeless, totally awful and very holy. So it was the night that you put the bins out for them, them to collect it the next morning. So I said a very ceremonious goodbye to them because, they'd, you know, they've been good friends of mine for quite a long time. Years. Years and years, actually. So I put them on, it was the rubbish bin that they were gathering, not the recycling. So I put them, we've got wheelie bins. Lifted the lid, put my old trousers in, said goodbye and put the bin out to the road for the bin men to collect. And lo and behold, <laughs> the next morning when I went out to collect the bins, the bin, guess what was sitting on top of the brick wall at the end of our drive? My trousers. The bin men had rejected them. <laughs> the bin men had rejected my trousers. So I took that as a sign that it wasn't time to let them go at all. So I put them back in the washing machine and carried on using them. <laughs> they have gone now, I hasten to say. But what a thing when, you, when the bin men rejected trousers for the rubbish bin. I couldn't believe it. Oh dear, I could not believe it. Anyway, uh, you thought I was going to say the bin man was wearing them. Oh no, that would have been even worse. Right, I've, look, let's get on. <laughs> I've got three buttons here that I have already put the string through because there's no need torturing you watching that. Um, so I thought that... <laughs> <laughs> to the bottom. Oh, my life. Like that. I, I mean, I could spread them out so they were even, but I think I don't want to do that. Then again, actually, having done that, I quite like it. Yeah, I'm going to put them like that. Does our glitter glue glue them? Do you think our glitter glue glues them or not? One way to find out. One way to find out. I really don't know what art glitter glue does and doesn't do at this stage, so I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, I've, I felt really rejected. I did, actually, when the rubbish bin man won't even take your trousers. I mean, he'd taken the time to lay them out. It would have, of course, been much quicker if he'd just bunged them in the back of the bin lorry. But he was obviously so determined that he wasn't taking them. He picked them out of the bin. Oh, can you believe it? I don't know if that's going to stick or not, actually. It doesn't feel like it particularly wants to stick. I'll apply some pressure for a second or two. Uh. Three quarter length pants, yes, Noella. Maybe he didn't reject them but thought there was still a lot of wear in them and he made a mistake. I think that's right, Erin. And as it turned out, there was actually still a lot of wear left in them, wasn't there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were three snap threads away from naked. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, round the house would fine, but you'd wear them to go out in the car. 
Well, only if I knew I didn't have to get out. The, the problem is sometimes things happen and you have to get out where you didn't anticipate it. Like little and last weekend, I didn't anticipate having to get out looking for um, kittens, but I've learnt my lesson that when you go out, you put proper trousers on. Yeah, I think they might stick. Let's hope so. So, I think we have completed... Mm, I think I've got, a, no, I've got a lump in my glue. Let's get an ordinary pin out. They must, it must get lumpy quite quickly. Oh, where's all my pins gone? Hey, there's one. This is like a banana. Oh, ordinary pins don't fit. Okay. This one's a little bit thinner. Let's hope that that's cleared it. So I don't want to bend my nice new one. Ooh. Can you get that in there? Do you want to... Actually, you might need a pin. I think there's some cloggage going on. Yeah, it does dry very quick. Do you want this little pin? It's thin and it fits. Right, so there we have it, guys. There is our altered paper clip. It's some paper clip. So all that you have to do is get yourself your journal page. I'll put it that way because that's more likely the way you'd have it. And thank you. And it just slides over there look at that I mean that's not so much an altered paper clip as a portable page <laughs> that's what I'd say it's pretty portable isn't it I hope you like it I mean I could go on and show you how to make it into a double sided paper clip you want to do that do you want to know that it's easy I'll, I'll do it I'll do an easy way um, oh, everybody likes it. It's lovely. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, Kerry wants to. Yes, Keon wants to. Erin wants to. Tamara wants to. Oh, thank you, Violet. Thank you so much. Keep going, says Jean. Right, that's what Jean says. And Susan and Zanet and Judy and Flo. Yeah, Yvonne. Okay, right, Th this won't take that long because it's not going to be as fancy. But it seems a shame not to show you when we're here anyway. So, this time I've got this to work with. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off at the same size as that. Which is there. And it doesn't matter whether it's the same size, different size, any size. It really doesn't matter. It's just I happen to have this bit of card kicking around. And if I don't use it, it'll get the corners will get damaged, etc., etc. Oh, that's from The King and I. I love that film. I love The King and I. It makes me cry. But films that make you cry. They're usually the best ones, aren't they? Like Love Story. Does anybody remember Love Story? Oh my goodness me. I love that film. Right, so. Actually, I need two bits. Don't know why I'm just cutting one. I need two bits about the same size. So I need to cut this one to here. Young says you haven't seen that in forever. The King and I. The King and I. I love it. I love it so much. I'm not a great film person, if I'm honest with you, and the reason for that is my memory is so bad. I can't remember who people are. You know, if they haven't been in the film in the last five minutes, I don't know who they are, and I get confused really easily as well. Like, if there's two people that look fairly similar, like, let's just say the 30-year-old males, I can't tell them apart. <laughs> Yvonne says, what are you cutting on? Is that a cutting board? No, it's not actually. It's just, this is a board. It's, I call it my inking board. Um, it came from Poundland here in the UK. Um, 
and it, it just it takes all the ink that you want to give it and then Mr. F scrubs it clean it comes up clean again it bounces up clean every time so I use that to try in an attempt to keep my cutting board which is the thing under here and my wallpaper which is the thing under that I'm doing that old person's thing of saving things well, it is a kitchen chopping board, yeah it's a kitchen right? chopping board is what it is um, and it was pound and it was pound well spent actually right here we go so you need one of these pieces to go up here inside that clip okay and look it's not the same size as the other one but it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be and then we're going to decorate this so how shall we decorate that that's a good question Janya says she's seen love story but never king and i Oh, the King and I. It's fairly aged now. It's fairly dated now. Kim says she's going to watch it today. Oh, it's so good. And Janice says, let's have movie night. Don't know how that would work, though. I'm not sure how it would work. And, and like I've just told you, I'm rubbish at films. I mean, The Godfather was a, was a total... I, I had no idea what was going on at all, because the, the... I don't know. They were all called Mike or Mikey or... Um, Paolo, I don't know, they're all, they all had the same name. What am I going to decorate this with? This is a question. Yes, Yvonne, I do too, I love it. Um, no, I've never seen Casablanca. Jean and I will have to do songs from Greece with the crafting pink ladies. Yes, do it, don't forget to video it. What am I going to decorate this with? Anybody got any clues at all? Mr. Earth, could you pass me a napkin from there? Out you like. Out you like. Out you like. Out you like. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I like them. I like these too. They're lovely, aren't they? Are they all the same? Yeah. Didn't realise I had as many of those. Right, so let's use this one, selected by our very own Mr. F. Do, do, do. Oh, this is really pretty. And they're all the same. Every every quarter is the same. So I'm not missing out anything. Um, I don't really want that green line, but I don't mind it at the bottom, actually. It's all right at the bottom. So, hmm. If it, I think I like that better than these two, although I do really love that as well. Oh, some of them have got writing on. This has got writing on. I want the writing. Periwinkle Matilda's just dropped in to say hello. What a gorgeous name. I want to be called Periwinkle. It's lovely. Right, so if I cut that up that um, crease there and just beyond that crease there yeah let's do that first let's not get carried away trying to cut four four sides all at once because you just know that's not going to work and just up this crease and let's hope that Janja's favorite music is music film is Greece Greece honestly if I'm honest with you I don't know if I've watched that I mean, I know all the songs from it and everything, but I'm not entirely convinced I've watched it. Oh, these have got words Kira going. says Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing, yeah. Keelan says Paint Your Wagon. I haven't cut this long enough, <laughs> so I'm going to have to put some lace on the top. Paint Your Wagon, did somebody say? Yeah, uh, yeah, you know Paint Your Wagon? I actually went to the cinema to see that when it was kind of first out. And I must have been about 11 or 12 and we went as a sort of, because I went to boarding school, so we went as a sort of, um, oh, I don't know, I don't, what do you call it when you all go out? An excursion, I suppose. Going out. Yeah, but it ha it's got a proper name if you do it when you're at school. I don't know what it was called. Yeah, we all went to the cinema and we all watched Paint Your Wagon, which was very good. Right, there we go. Was Charlie Chaplin not on that night? Do behave because you'll only suffer later. Yeah, that's all right. It's a bit wider than the edges, but that's fine. Let's do that. 
and then you'll all know how to make a double paper clip, altered paper clip even, and you will be making them for all your journals. Right, let's get this glue trick done again. I kind of like it. Um, it's going all over here, isn't it? Yeah, just checking. Just double checking myself. And I, I really think you have to have the glue absolutely everywhere. You know, a good coat of it everywhere. Because you'll get air bubbles and it's not what you want. I think that's enough. Right. I had a thought whilst I was doing that. <laughs> Multitasking. That if I put that at the top, I can put some lace at the bottom, which I think would be better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just drop that on there. Like that. A very pretty napkin this one isn't it very pretty and all that sort of um marking that you get at the bottom you know where they've clamped them together it's all gone it's disappeared it's smooth as you like so let's see if i can get this trimmed off could you find me a piece of lace mr f certainly what flavor or variety would you i like? would like cream I think. Yeah. And I'd like it about an inch thick. Inch thick cream. Ooh. Oops. Oopsie oopsie. Too narrow? No, that'll probably do. Is that cream? Yeah. I mean it possibly is, I can't see. So. It's gone really dark outside, it's really It is probably going to thunder again. Yeah. Right, so that's that. I think I've got glue where I don't want glue. So I'm going to move that board. Yeah, there's bits of glue there. Let's try this. Oh, I didn't realise it was quite so long. Let's just try it for size. No, that's grand. Thank you. That's lovely. I didn't realise... It was quite so long, dropped it on the floor. I thought it was just like an oddment that you were handing me instead you've handed me about five metres. <laughs> you didn't stipulate. I, I did not stipulate, you're quite right, and thanks for finding it. Right, so it's not quite square as you can see, but I'm not fussed about that in the slightest. I've got this nice lace that Mr... F has found for us and I'm just going to stick that on just over that green the green line okay so I need um, a bit of Fabri-Tac for that that should do it I think it is only lace at the end of the day bit of extra glueage going around. Just try and dab it up with my Timmy towel. I, I was watching Timmy yesterday actually, an old video of his and uh, I noticed that he doesn't call his towel a Timmy towel. <laughs> Who'd have thought? He calls it his inky binky. <laughs> we don't have binkies in this country, but I know in America, your babies have binkies. Uh, and that's what he calls his Timmy towel, his inky binky. So there you go. I prefer Timmy towel, of course. So that's quite pretty. In fact, it's, it's really pretty. I mean, that napkin is delicious. So I'm going to ink around here. I've calmed now, <laughs> maybe I haven't. I've calmed down now after telling you the story of my, <laughs> of my trousers. 
so there we are. I mean, that, that's that. You could add anything you like onto it. I mean, we could add a little pocket up here, put a little playing card in there. That might look quite nice. Um, it would be something, wouldn't it? It'd be something extra. I don't think I need anything stiffer than this. Let's do it that way. I don't want it the whole size. I just want it about the size of a one of these playing cards. That's a pretty one. They're both, they're both pretty. But of course I love the dog roses. And I've got things to show you before we go anyway, so don't be going anywhere for a minute or two. About there. And um, I just want it about that height. So let's get the ruler out. So I want it that height, I think. It doesn't look very tall, but it must be tall enough. Cut that, and I think this was the width I wanted. It's a bit of guesswork. <laughs> will the card fit into that? That's the question. Yes, of course it will. Let's just get rid of those marks. Right, where's my thingy? Here's my thingy. I'm going to put it there. I know that it's going to cover up some of that, but Hady holdy, you know, you know. Let's get my ink board back again, and my. No, oh, should we should we put flowers on it this time? Let's put flowers on it. Let's do something wayward and dangerous. Right, let's get this. And which flowers do we want? These are all so lovely, so tiny, so delectable. So I could have that on there. This one's flinging itself at me, so we'll have it. And this one next to it. They're all they're all so nice it doesn't really matter. Right, so that's that's about all right, I think. So I'm going to see if I can pick them up with this. Look at that. <laughs> I am my own stamping platform. Oops. I hope this is going to work now. Well, like I say, if it doesn't, I've, got, I've always got the other side. I'll just turn the pocket over. Let's get this something like right. That is really nice. I don't, I'm not sure if you're seeing that actually, to be honest, but is that, I'm a, is that, that in the right place? Yeah. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's pretty, pretty. Lovely. Right. Jen says, now you've used the glue stick, what's your opinion? I like it. I mean, time will have to tell because when you do it with mixed, <laughs> mixed medium, when you do it with, mm, mm, forgotten the word. Uh, matte medium you get some on the outside of it as well which protects it and I like that uh, I mean this is going in a journal quite how much protection it needs I don't think it needs any at all so I think the uh, glue stick method is fine if I was using this for a journal cover or uh, something you know slightly more robust I would definitely use matte medium because you'd get it on the outside too here, all we've got on the outside is paper, really. And it's well affixed, definitely. You can't say it's not well stuck down. But um, I wouldn't like to put it somewhere where it was going to get quite a lot of, you know, rubbing, usage, whatever. Jen says, can you let us know tomorrow if it's up to Miss P's standards? I'll, yeah, I'll let you know once it's dried what I think. But like I say, I think it's... I can't see it wrinkling up now. And I think it's going to be fine for light usage, shall we say. <laughs> it's like a washing machine for light soiling. Um, I think it'll be fine for things actually in, in a journal. 
Right, I'm going to ink around here with uh, the vintage photo. I quite like this. I'm sorry that it looks a bit sort of insipid uh, down the camera, but it actually looks quite nice in reality. Just want a bit more ink on there. Judy wants to know where you got those little flower stamps. <laughs> My good friend, Ali. Where everything like that comes from. Yeah, from Ali. I mean, they're dirt cheap. I, I order quite a lot of things from Ali, as you all know. You see them appearing all the time. And I never really uh, order anything that's more than two quid. Um... And I, I just take a flyer on it. Sometimes things come and I think, oh, I'm not exactly sure that was what I had in mind. Like the other day, I ordered some bird charms. And, you know, I thought they'd be nice little bird charms. I mean, they're about an inch and a half long and there's three parrots. I can't, I can't really see me ever using those. But that's a gamble. It's, it's, it's always a gamble that you take, to be honest with you. Um, and it's a gamble I quite like because even when things come and they're not quite right, I know I haven't spent a fortune on it and um, I just didn't, you know, it's a laugh when Mr. F hands them to me and I open them. I mean, it's just a laugh. Jean's off to fix Obi's lunch. All right, my dear, I can't thank you enough for finding the time to join us. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's brightened your day a little and hopefully, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, Jean. Take care, bye. Right, so this is the top of my pocket, so I'm going to stick this on. I'll need to go back to those buttons that are stuck on and see if... Uh, um, I nearly said Artie Mays. Whatever Artie Mays has got to do with sticking buttons on. She is remarkable, but I don't think she can stick buttons on from Cornwall. Right, so this is going to go onto here fairly centrally like that so I'm just holding my ruler there so as I get it straight <laughs> that's all if you've got a straight eye then you don't need to bother with that sort of thing right that's that it's stuck down so if it's not in the middle it's too bad so let's pop a playing card in there uh, I'm not going to ram it all the way down yet because obviously the um, glue isn't dry yet and then I would get my card stuck I think I've got a nobble in me. I've got a nobble in my glue again, Mr. F. This is very annoying if it keeps doing that. Right, so there we are. We've got a pocket. I could put some lace actually along the bottom of that pocket. Or I could put a bit of this. Just looks a bit lonely on its own, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to put a bit of that. Actually, I don't want that end bit because it's just a... Yeah, I've got it. Did to say that. the moment you stop using it to put some in it, like I, I did. Yeah. I was using it. There you go. Thank you. Bobblicious. Bobblicious. Yeah, to there. So, just it just looks a bit naked. <laughs> Dare I use that word again? It looked a bit naked. It looked a bit left on its own on the shelf. So I'm just going to add that to it. I am aware we are just making an altered paper clip. I mean, you know, the amount of techniques this has had thrown at it is quite ridiculous. But I'm enjoying it. I hope you are. And I hope it gives you some ideas of things that you can add to your journal uh, that are just a little bit different. Right, let's pop this on here. Yeah, that's that's a bit better, I think. Doesn't look quite so, quite so naked. Okay, so now what happens is exactly the same that we did on the front. We glue this down to there, to the, to this piece of card that's here. The fact that the front bit is longer is neither here nor there, because you won't really be seeing them together because they'll be over a page. Right, so let's add some glue to this then. Say goodbye to the paper clip. Goodbye, paperclip. 
have enjoyed your company. You can use E6000 at this stage and that is what I would normally use if it wasn't that I was sort of roll testing art glitter glue. Uh, I would normally use E6000 for jobs you know just around the paper clip you don't need to do the rest of the card in it but just the paper clip Judy says she thinks it's the prettiest most interesting altar paper clip she's ever seen <laughs> thanks Judy and Jen you says she's living it right that's that now if this doesn't go in this time I'm going to fall out with it. Susan oh. says she can't wait to try this for herself. Yeah, try it. And, and you know, be adventurous. Use all sorts of things. You don't have to do pockets. I do like that bit, sort of flippy, flappy thing that we did on the front, though. I quite like that, where it opens up to, to being journaling space. Right, so press that down. I'll just set that out. Press that down over the card that is the back of this piece right up to the paper clip like so I think that's good I think that's okay pop our card in <coughs> Sharon said it'd be a cool hinged card if you made it without a clip yeah yeah so now we can check that it actually works as a paper clip because <laughs> if it doesn't it's just something to shove in your in your journal it's just it's just a buggered paper clip isn't it? <laughs> <coughs> stop it right so here's my journal do 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 flip it through the journal here we go so this get the middle that's between the two pieces of card that we've stuck the things onto and just pop it over like that press it down oh look at that on this side of my journal how pretty oh look at this on the other side of my journal how pretty so there you go, <laughs> so there you go. what do you reckon i quite like it and then out the top we've got this which you could add more to. You could really go to town on that and have loads of stuff and dangles and whatever. Um, but I do rather like this, the way it opens up and you've got the the room for journaling. And Jean says, and Bob's your uncle. Jean, I thought you'd gone, but Bob no, is my uncle. Jen. Oh, Jen. Jen's saying it for Jean. Oh, for Jean, yeah. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. There you go. So that's, that's one well side. Bookmark as well, I would have thought. Yeah, absolutely. Bookmark, anything you like. So that's that. So now you all know how to make a double altered paper clip. And uh, Jen says, are the buttons old? Oh yeah, that's a good point. I meant to have a look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Holding. So yeah, you just open that and then you've got four sides of journaling. So it's not just pretty. It has a purpose. <laughs> So there we are, we made a double paper clip, altered paper clip, but what you must bear in mind is you don't have to make it this size. I was doing it to be outrageous. <laughs> I think to be fair, what you made is a journal and glued a paper clip inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's the that's the way that it that it goes. I'm just gonna put a clip either side of the paper clip, which you might find you want to do when you've done yours, just to help it stick right up to that paper clip. Of course, I've got more walls than probably the average person because my paper clip is so large. So it's pushing the paper away, but just leave it like that and it'll stick nicely. So there we have that. Now there's a couple of other things that I just want to show you quick, sharp. Um, let's just get some stuff put away. Um, what's everybody got to say? Oh, bye, Bernice. Bye. Thank you. Um, excellent. Yeah, I've just got a couple of things here that I want to show you. Um, one is this. Oh, and we've got to roll the prompts for tomorrow as well, don't forget. 
um, which is the secrets of a Devon wood. And Devon is a county here in England. Um, Down south. Yeah, very south. Very, very south. The only other county that's more south is Cornwall. So it's, it's a place that visitors flock to. But this the Secrets of a Devon Wood, My Nature Journal by Joe Brown. And look what's on the cover. How could I not buy this? This is not a charity shop find. I bought this full price from Amazon and I adore it. Uh, and I'll just give you a quick flip through of the sort of style of the book. Um, you know, mushrooms. And, and th these are her um, research that she's found out about these things. Um, you know, the birds and what the sound is and where they are and what the habitat is, etc, etc. There's, yeah, more toadstools. There's quite a few creepy crawlies, actually, and some mating slugs, which is rather gross. Um, but there's also some really beautiful pictures in it. And I love the fact that it, there's writing in it. And this along the top here is the exact latitude and longitude of where she's found this um, specimen here. And it's all dated. I mean, this one is the 20th of July, um, 29, 2019. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Um, but apparently the flowers are edible, so we're okay with that one. And a frog and uh, some sort of bird. But it's, I mean, look at that page. That's possibly one of my favourite pages. I love that. And because I'm trying to get back into my painting, because of Keung <laughs> being so, doing that gorgeous snowscape that she did. Um, so I've searched my um, gouache paints out and I'm having a lovely time painting. So um, it's this sort of thing that, I'm, that I want to do. I don't... I've done botanical in my life, botanical watercolours. They're lovely, they're, but they take hours. I mean, literally hours and hours. So I don't want to go down that route. I like this quick sketchiness of it. And that's kind of what I, um, where I'm aiming to be. And I like the words around it as well. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. This sort of thing. It's, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? And it is called The Secret Secrets of a Devon Wood, My Nature Journal, Joe Brown, J.O. Brown, with the lovely blue tits on the front. So that's that one. I'll leave that out because I need to remember to do the prompt. And this other one is fantastic. It is a country woman's journal. Now, here at the bottom it says, The Sketchbooks of a Passionate Naturalist. OK, that's what it says. And I told Mr F that I was after this book, if you should ever come across it, I really, really wanted it. So he looked it up online to see um, what price it was, etc. And they're about 30 or 40 pounds, which is, I, I would never pay that for a book to cut up. Um, and then eventually he found one. But what he'd done was, instead of putting the sketchbooks of a passionate naturalist in... spell checked. He put in the sketchbooks of a passionate naturist. <laughs> Don't go there, people. There's some things you cannot unsee. But somebody had listed this incorrectly. So in amongst all the naturist stuff was this book. And it was a tenor. So it was well worth him seeing all the things he didn't want to see um, to find me this. And I'll just give you a quick sort of look through. It's it, it's in the form of her own sketchbook. You know, this is like prop, you know, like a proper sketchbook. It's it's kind of Mr. Green esque, really. And in the back, it's got a sketchbook Windsor and Newton, which are just facsimiles, but that's what the original sketchbook would have had uh, on it. So it's. It's just gorgeous. And there's this little um, thing here of her, her signature, also a facsimile, but it's really, uh, this book is just gorgeous. And the first bit is all about her and her life. And she was quite, she had quite a sort of enchanted life, really. She certainly wasn't impoverished in any way. Um, I'll flick through it this way and you'll get more 
more of a chance to see it. There's two sketchbooks in here, part one and part two. I mean, look at it, look at that page. It's just beautiful, isn't it? I really love it. I love the way the words go through the the image. It's really quite piqued my interest, may I say. So I'm delighted to have this book. I love these bird's eggs. It's just a gorgeous book. And I will cut it up. Yeah, that's the second journal and then this first one. Um, I will cut it up despite the fact I don't have a second copy and I'm not likely to have a second copy at um, 30 or 40 pounds. It's just too much to cut up for a journal. Look at that with all the birds on it. It's just, oh, 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 I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, look, there's my friend, a little blue tit and a dog rose on the same page. Wow, fabulous. So, yeah, in the fullness of time, once I've tired of, let me just look at that, of looking through it and ooing and eyeing about it, I will chop it up and it will start to appear in people's journals, etc. Um, so that's that. So I thought you might be interested to see those two. Let me just have a drink, please. Ah, lovely. Uh, right, let's get the big red book out. And I need a new piece of paper because I've gone through another two days. It's quite ridiculous. Oh, let me know them. Right. Are you fed up of the roll of prompts yet, guys? Do you want to move on to something else? I don't know what else we could move on to, like, but um, I think it gives us a good, you know, we're changing up all the time, aren't we? We're not really stuck in one place. Let's get a pen. So tomorrow will be Sunday the 8th of August and it's roll a prompt. Okay, let's find the page. Whoops. Page after that one. There we go. Right, that's the page. Let me get my die. Here we are. Okay. Right, the type. What are we making? We can't be making an altered paper clip because we did that today, so five, altered paper clip. No, that's not happening because I can't, nothing twice in a row. So I have to re-throw that one. Three, an envelope, okay. Envelope, um, color. Can't be green because we've had it three times already. Um, two, yellow. Oh, that's a nice change. I don't think we've had yellow before. That's interesting. Uh, the kind of paper. Six, music paper. Oh, I've just put that in the wrong column, haven't I? It's yellow there. And music paper. Well, we haven't had that one before either. Music paper. And the next one, the focal point. It can't be photo, because we've had it three times. Whoa! Oh no, I've lost my dice. Can I have a new one from over there? I don't know where it's gone. It's gone under my seat, I think. <laughs> you need one of them popomatics. So you're not to be trusted. I'm not to be trusted. No, popomatic would be great. Right, so this is the focal point still. Five, fussy cut. Ooh, this is shaping up quite nicely. Fussy cut. 
Okay, so the next one is the decoration and it can't be fabric because we had that today. Four brads. They're neither no something. Brads. Fabric need a line through it. We had it three times. We've had it three times, yeah, it needs a line through it. Let me just write. What did I get? Brads. We just put a line through a uh, fabric because we've had it one, two, three times, so you can't have it any more than three and that's times. The third as well, I think. Tomorrow. Is it? I'll put a line through it as well. Uh, brad, one, two, yeah, it's a third brad. Oh, these are a bit wavy, but never mind. Okay, so the next and the last thing is the style. So we can't have. Edith, because we had her today. Everything else is fair game. Three, nature. Oh, come on, guys. This is shaping up really nicely. Naturist. Let me put that in my box until I find the other one. Put the big red book away. And let's just have a quick scan what we've got. Envelope, yellow, music paper, fussy cut, brads and nature yeah i'm quite happy with that i, I don't think that's going to be too much <clears throat> of a head scratcher okay so with that i shall bid you adieu i hope you've enjoyed today's um making a somewhat giant altered paper clip carol Horn thinks you've had photo three times i might well have done let's have a check carol I do feel like I've had it a lot, I can tell you. Because I had it today, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, photo, one, two, three. You are so right. I'm very pleased that's not coming up again. Because today's, if I'm honest, was a bit sort of hidden, wasn't it? It was just on the back of somewhere. So yeah, we're getting through them, but we've still got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So after that, we'll have to have a rethink about, do you want to carry on with it? Or would you like to see something else? Or you don't want to see me at all? That would be fine, just let me know. But personally, I think the roller prompt's quite good because it focuses what you're doing, but it tends to be something different every day. So I quite like that aspect of it. So, good spotting, Carol. Right, that's it. I am done. Um, out you come, out of there. Let's have a look at you. And I hope you like that. I hope you, you know, give it a try. Don't forget you can do it in tiny, tiny little size. It doesn't have to be like this. Thank you very, very, very much for your company. Let's see what everybody's saying. Noella, it was fun. Thank you. Learned such a lot today. Tamara, Judy, wonderful time. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you, Judy. Janya, bye. Bye, Janya. Bye, Vaughn. Bye, Kay. Oh, you stuck with us till the end. That's nice. Uh, bye, Judy. Bye, Sid. I didn't even know you were here. Bye. Uh, Roz. Yeah, lovely. Thank you, Deborah. Bobblicious. Yeah, our oh, lovely Bobblicious. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Our purple knob. Right, so I'm off. <laughs> Behave on yourselves. Note. On that note, <laughs> I'm off. And I shall see you tomorrow at four. Should you like to join us, it would be delightful if you did. Thank you. Where we will be doing our roller prompt from today. And anything else I can think that you might want to see. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. and Behave yourselves. Bye. Take care. Be safe. Be happy. Behave yourselves. Till tomorrow. Bye.